All right, so I've got my black selection tool selected. And what we're gonna do is right now, we're gonna put this fence, I'm gonna zoom out in front of this tree. If I move one of these pieces, you'll see that it will not move the rest of the fence pieces together. So sometimes once you have something created, you want to keep those pieces together and not allow them to be moved by accident. And so you want them to act together like an object, but still be able to edit them individually. So what we can do is we can select all of the fence. So I'm going to go and deselect by clicking out on the pasteboard, and I'm then going to hold it and click down and draw draw a box over all of the fence post pieces, including the horizontal bars and the fence posts, and get them all selected. And now what we're going to do is make them one object that stays together. They're still going to be separate objects. You're still going to be able to edit each piece individually, but we're going to go ahead and keep them so that they stay together by grouping them. I would like you to pause the video here and see if you can figure out how to group these objects together. To group these objects, you're going to use the grouping function, and that actually can be found um, over here on the properties panel. You can see that if I have properties, I'm going to go ahead and close my alignment panel, but if I have properties here, quick actions include group. I can also go over to object up at the top, and I can group them here, and you can see that there's a keyboard shortcut for it. I can also right-click them and group them. All of these are ways that you can group but I'm gonna use a keyboard shortcut and hold down the control key and hit G. That will group them together. Now on your screen, it'll look like nothing happened, but if we deselect off of it and then we click back on any of the fence post pieces, all of them are gonna get selected at the same time because they're grouped together. And then we can just click and drag and drop them in front of the tree. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them over on the other artboard in front of the tree. And if you wanna use your arrow keys on your keyboard, the up, down, left, and right arrow keys, you can nudge it around to get it in the right location. Remember that if it's sitting out on the gray, that portion is going to get cut off when we export the image because only the artboard appears on the image. Okay, so now the question is like, well, what if I wanna change something? Like if I wanna adjust the width or the height between these two posts? I want you to pause the video here and see if you can adjust the height so that it may be a little bit skinnier or a little bit wider, depending on what you want. I'm going to move mine up. And I want you to adjust that individually for this top horizontal post inside the group without ungrouping the object. So pause the video here and see if you can do that. The beauty of a grouped object is that Illustrator knows it's grouped together, but it knows that each individual object is separate. And so what you can do in Illustrator, which is a little bit interesting, is you can isolate pieces. So like, let's say I really wanted to erase part of this trunk here, okay? Well, this trunk has more going on behind this tree that I can't see as the user um, because it's visually being hidden. But if I double click on this trunk, you're gonna see that everything else gets grayed out and I'm now in isolation mode. Up here at the top, I now have a new gray bar that has appeared and it's showing me that I'm isolated on a path. And if you hover over it, it even says current isolated object. The reason this is important when you isolate something is because now you only can make changes to that object. So for instance, this is just a for instance, you don't have to do this with me, but I want to show you. If I grab my eraser tool and I begin to erase this object, Notice how when I was erasing, it wasn't erasing the tree, even though I'm in that area, because I am isolated on this trunk. So I can do things by isolating objects. I'm going to go ahead and undo that. And then I can grab, I can exit out of isolation mode by either hitting back one level to go back out, or with my selection tool selected, what's really cool is I can actually double click outside of it and it will take me back out to the full preview with nothing isolated. The same thing works for groups. I can click on a group, but if I wanna isolate a piece of it and begin editing it, I can double click. And when I double click, you'll see that it will isolate the group of the fence post, but now I can grab each piece individually and I can adjust them as needed. So that way I can make changes yet not affect it being grouped together. To get out of the group of isolation mode, again, you can use the arrow up at the top or you can just double click to get out of it. So what's great about Illustrator is that if all the objects are separate, we can group them together, but then we can isolate different pieces to make different changes. And it's all it requires is a double click. 
A quick double click is gonna allow you to select something and isolate it. And a double click outside on the pasteboard or anywhere where nothing is selected is gonna take you back out to all of the objects.